What's up everyone, Mad Dog EDC coming at you with a long overdue EDC video. Finally had a chance to be able to uh, film for you. Now, I know the house is an absolute wreck, it's a mess, but it is what it is. We are here, we're doing a kitchen remodel, Every, there's trash everywhere, there's stuff everywhere, it's dirty. I'm sorry, I had an opportunity, the wife is out for a Walmart pickup order, she took the two boys with her, I wanted to get this done real quick. So. Got everything laid out right here on uh, the stove in front of me, um, but I wanted to go over it, how I keep it in my pockets, how I do this, and uh, show everything, where I have it on my person. We'll go ahead and put the belt on, we'll put everything in, just like I would where I'm getting ready in the morning, and uh, then, after we do this video, starting next week i'll take one piece of my kit and i'll talk deeply about that why i use it how i use it who it came from all the good stuff about it so be tuned for those let's go ahead and get started with this i'm gonna go ahead and start. and here we go starting around here's my belt this is a next belt um i'll do a full video review on this here um this is on my right leg it just kind of it goes all over right there so all this goes on my person off of that belt or in my pockets let's see how it happens sorry for the uncut nature of this video everything's going to be raw with mad dog edc i don't have time to do all the fancy editing things of that nature so i'm sorry everything's raw that's just how it's going to have to be with us as we uh, get into this so i'm going to step back so you can see first off is the belt the uh, next belt obviously maxpedition triad admin pouch goes around usually i don't have everything unloaded off of this so that's uh, going to be a little different of me loading this up but I'll kind of walk you through it. Next is going to go my phone pouch, and it's going to ride right here up against this belt clip. Then my Maxpedition Keeper will go on next up against the belt loop. You can kind of see there. Let me angle this camera down a little bit so I can uh, be a little closer. And uh, yeah, that, that works a lot better. Then the clip belt clip for my leg rig is gonna go on my Maxpedition can case. Now, a little bit about what this is and how this goes. That's everything that rides on my belt at this time. <laughs> um, sometimes I do carry a Buck 110 and that's gonna ride right here in between the belt loop for the leg rig and the Maxpedition can case. I do not dip, um, but this, I don't know, I think you can see. Well, you can see it a little bit there. This holds two refills for my weed eater string. I'm on a big uh, property or something like that. I ain't got to go back to the truck. It's not getting loose in my pocket. Um, when I take it off in the, in, at night when I get home, well, then it's not getting just a big jungle of string everywhere. So that's what that is right there. Then, uh, oops, sorry about that. My Gerber Strong Arm. You can see this is well loved. I 100% love that knife. Yeah, you, know, you couldn't hardly get that knife away from me. Leatherman Hybrids. Um, these come in handy. I'm a landscaper. That's a, a lot of this gear is geared towards landscaping. Your mileage is going to vary, so don't take my EDC as the law, and this is what you have to have. This goes right here. Got something interesting, interesting to talk about this case right here. Um, and the Kydex and the way I have it set up, the, wh the why as to why I have it set up the way that I do. That'll be coming in another review. That goes on there. Comes around the leg. Something I didn't put on this board, I just realized I forgot, is my lighter. Um, used to carry a Zippo, but got in a situation where the Zippo kind of failed me, so now I'm carrying this. My dad gave me that for Christmas this year, just kind of a little stocking stuff or gift. And then, uh, obviously, I have a uh, challenge coin. This is an Armor of God challenge coin that my wife gave me. I carry that on, uh, on my person. Don't really use this left pocket, so it just kind of sits down in there like that right there. Now, as far as in this sheath here, let's go ahead and turn this camera down a little bit so you can see down as I stack this. There's a little slip right here on that. 
Lenman Crocs going to go in there. These three bit adapters, bit drivers, um, a ratcheting one for my Leatherman, a standard one, and then a small Titan ratchet is going to go there. My 5-inch Nipex Cobras will go against the side there. My Leatherman Bit Kit, both cards, will go beside the Raptors. That'll close up just like that. Now, I usually carry a Leatherman Surge with me, but my charge is with me right now for this month because of a challenge I'm doing. Um, but this goes as well because these go in the T-Shank adapter on the Leatherman Surge. And there's a little slip on the pocket right there. They'll go in that. That's that for that pouch. Leatherman Surge would usually sit here, but right now it's the charge. So it'll go down that way. Leatherman handkerchief, always carry a handkerchief, never know when it's gonna come in handy, a dust mask or something like that. So I do carry that with me most of the time. Um, so that's gonna go in my right back pocket back here. My Max Edition wallet is going to ride here. I don't have to worry about it falling out. It's very secure in there. It's tight. Um, I can, when I'm not trying to do it for a video, I can do it pretty quick. Uh, you've ever had a, prop, a problem with it squirting out of your back pocket? Well, that takes care of that. Don't laugh. Public bathrooms are nasty. I'm a volunteer firefighter. I firmly believe in the uh, expression, if it's wet and not yours, don't touch it. <laughs> I carry disposable toilet seat covers. We've got young boys learning to potty train them. Guess what? Disposable toilet seat covers comes in handy. They don't take up any room in your back pocket. In the right pocket back there, Le uh, Terry Hank. This is done by Scott Terry over on the Leatherman um, Tool Users Group. I just keep that for my phone, for my watch, um, cleaning the screens off and my glasses. That goes in the left back pocket there. Speaking of the watch, just picked up recently the Garmin Phoenix 3 on a trade. I know, I know, we're on the 7 now, right? But I'm on a budget, okay? I can't afford a $1,000 watch to wear for work. So I'm happy with this. It does everything that I wanted it to do, everything I needed it to do. So um, Garmin Phoenix 3. Now, right in the rain pad up here. This is just a generic pin I got on trade. Kind of looks... It's brass. I guess it's supposed to look like bamboo or something. I don't know, but it's a bolt action pin. It's got a right in the rain refill in it. Um, unscrew this little cap right here, but there's many other things I could use for this, but it's got a glass breaker on it. So I don't know, just a fun little pin to have. I love brass, but that's how it goes. Maxpedition micro pouch. Hanging on the front right here. This goes inside this pocket. This is a titanium toothpick. Um, I don't hardly ever use it as a toothpick, but it gets used if I got a if I need something small. Uh, other reasons, you know, punching reset buttons on irrigation clocks, things like that. A paper clip, just always nice to have small little bits of wires, etc. This just slides down inside this main pocket, like this right here. Let me angle this camera down. Yeah, like that right there, and I can just slide everything in as it normally would be. Um, <clears throat> a Jack's milkshake straw, big old straw, right? Two runs of duct tape. I think I've got about 30 foot of duct tape on this straw right here. Right there, nice and easy. Spare big lighter. Right there, nice and easy. Sharpie. Carpenter's pencil. Spare flashlight, Streamlight, Stylus Pro. Had that one for a long time. Got a, a lot of use behind that light right there. Extra Leatherman saw for my Surge. Little puppy's gonna go right up in there. This is a six inch um, metal Bosch metal saw. Again, that's for my Leatherman Surge. This little rascal right here is a bicycle chain adapter, but I have my Leatherman bit cards um, for my bit kit 
uh, modified to where I can slide this through and it connects the two of them together. I don't use it all the time, but sometimes I do. Um, I have to dig that out later. <laughs> there went my carpenter's pencil. Anyway, this steel rod is for disconnecting the uh, weed eater head off my echo shafts. So a magnetic extendable pickup tool. So valuable, so valuable to have. You're always needing to reach in something to pick up stuff. Too bad it doesn't work on wood because I just dropped my carpenter pencil down beside the stove. Anyway, extra bits. Um, for my bit stuff, these are security and different stuff. So we got those in there. Always good to have band-aids on hand. These are going to slide in the pocket on this side. And then in this gap right here, I've started carrying this six inch or six foot craftsman tape measure. It's always nice to have a tape measure on hand. There it is right there. You can see it's about palm sized. This just slides down right there. Last but not least, Streamlight Protac 90, and it's gonna go in my right back pocket. It's gonna go right here. And that, my friends, is Mad Dog's EDC. That's what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of it doesn't change. I have changed this stuff around i have moved this stuff i have experimented i have carried so much more there was a time when i put everything on my belt and weighed it and it was five pounds okay i have gone back and forth in different sheaths and different organizations and this is what i found works best for me i'm comfortable with this it's honestly really not that heavy i haven't weighed this setup but it's not that bad and uh it gets everything I need. If I'm on a big property, I take care of a Bass Pro Shops, the maintenance on a Bass Pro Shops, okay? I'm not walking all the way across the parking lot when I need something that I could have on my person. Now, residential yards, doesn't really matter that much, but on big commercial projects, it matters a lot. I'd rather have it on me knowing I have it and might not need it for a week, might not need it for two weeks, but I guarantee you some point I'm going to need it. And I'd rather not waste the time walking to the truck and walking back when I could have it on my person. But there it is. Your mileage may vary. Your EDC is going to change back and forth. Show me what you've got. Show me how you carry. And if this video was, was helpful, please like, subscribe, share it, and uh, help build the channel. I appreciate it so much. And uh, for right now, Mad Dog out.